What up everyone, Be more here with a quick video about the patch notes for the Ghost War portion of the Ghost Recon Breakpoint title update. This is probably the biggest patch we have gotten up to this side of the game in about 8 months. I'm not going to deep dive into the patch notes because I think those videos are sort of lame. So I'm going to link the patch notes in the description and talk about what I think are the most important things out of this update for Ghost War and how they bring change to the landscape of PvP. If you like this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe as I make my way to 300 subscribers. And as always, I don't like to waste anyone's time, so let's dive right in. Observer mode. So I understand a lot of you probably thought I was going to start off with a big assault class nerf, and rightfully so, but I want to take the time to not gloss over how important this new observer mode is for the longevity of the game, and how important it is for Ghost War in general. Let me explain. While on paper it doesn't look big, and yes, it doesn't affect most of the player base, it does wonders for people viewing this game on Twitch or YouTube streaming. If you look at the list of features in this observer mode, it isn't too shabby, and it should really be noted that they wouldn't do this update without some at least bigger plans in mind for the PvP portion of the game. Also, this should be really good for people who host tournaments over on console. I know for myself, a lot of the reason I do not watch those tournaments is because the teams are mostly aiming for the chess and you only get one view of the person actually streaming. So if a person dies, you're just stuck looking through their cam. So this should help out in that regard. And if I was to point to a sign of hope for the PVP portion of this game, the observer mode is probably that sign. Item drop. This feature is probably going to be underrated for a little bit, but I can tell you from experience that this is going to be very handy when it comes to taking over control of the map. There are plenty of instances where my team of four take over a map to the point of there no longer being health items available to team members. If you thought people taking over the map was fast before, imagine how much faster it's going to be to have just one member of the team go get health and drop it back off for the rest of the squad. This is going to be a game changer after a couple of weeks of standard use. If utility weapons get a buff, this feature is going to be even more essential into controlling the map. The more interactions between teammates is better as far as I'm concerned, so this is a very good sign for the game, and it's a small but very important change. Assault class nerf. Okay, so this is the meat and potatoes portion of this video, so I'm going to go and talk about the two different changes to the assault class. Three health bars is on paper the biggest change to the class itself. I can't remember who said it, but someone said the first thing they should do is take away that health bar. Nancy about the video at all. But let's just go ahead and say here's some fixes. Get rid of the health bar. That's it. Yeah, I mean, as simple as it can be, get rid of it. So yeah, that was an easy call because it was the most obvious thing that needs fixing and bringing the assault class back in line with every other class. The assault class just had way too much going for it. And this makes the medic even more valuable to a team composition now. What they replaced the health bar with is possibly even better than the actual health bar itself, which is now the 10% damage reduction passive. So just spitballing here, you can probably get up to 65 to 75% damage reduction when using the assault class skill, plus revivalist, plus the raid gear. That's pretty insane personally, as the class skill was already pretty good and you could already tank a bunch of shots using the shotgun with the gorilla perk. This is obviously a wait and see approach, but if I was to guess, there's gonna be a rise in the engineer class because the drone's capabilities are sort of unmatched when it comes to playing the game. The drone, would be next on my chopping block to the devs. If you're listening, nothing should be automated getting kills after your player is dead. Plain and simple, it's just cheesy in my opinion. Anyway, everything else about the assault class is still really strong. You still have to remember that the passive accuracy bonus with assault rifles is still clearly the best choice since all of those guns are meta at the moment. The class skill refills health after a kill. Also really strong if you can start chaining kills of the enemy players in sequence. So yeah, the class in itself is still gonna be very strong. It's just gonna need some help from a medic to get onto that same level. Personally, if I'm an assault class, I'm always going to request a medic because it just means you can still get the four normal health bars, but now with an added damage resistance. So yeah, I'm happy. Thanks Ubisoft Paris, that was a good compromise. Final thoughts. This is a good step in the right direction. Granted, it took a very, very long time to take that first step, but Rome wasn't built in a day. And with the whole pandemic, I think that we can all excuse them for taking a little bit longer than we would all expect. A couple of things of note I saw in the patch notes that I'm just gonna skim by. It looks like they tried to address strafing and the DMR glitch. 
that's good on paper but let's just wait and see and if they are truly truly removed i will go back and update my state of ghost war video and my tier list video anyway guys this is a short video today i got a lot of content planned for this week so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you stay up to date with my ghost war videos because i've got a spicy shotgun video that's only going to get amplified after this update if i think how I think the damage reduction is going to play out. So yeah, until the next one, guys, be more.